back for my April wrap up and May TBR. I have read a total of 11 books last month and I'm just so happy because I'm finally back in my reading game. This month has been quite surprising for me since I have read books, physical books, as well as ebooks and I've read, some of them I've read like overnight or in two days and I'm just so so glad about that. So the first book that I finished was Frankenstein. I kind of read it in like a month. I started March 19th and I ended April 3 which is quite a long time but I was reading it for school and it's absolutely amazing. I didn't expect that I would like it but I did so I gave it five stars. I'm not really fond of reading horror or thrillers but this one just really took my attention. I was able to finish it and I was able to take a lot of notes about it. The next book that I read is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo and I actually got this book because it said on the cover that the fans of Sarge Maas and Lee Bardugo are gonna like it and I absolutely love both of those writers. So my friend and I decided to get one. I mean. I got her a copy as her birthday gift and I got one for myself as well. We needed to each have a copy. So it was so, so good. I gave it five stars. I couldn't put the book down. I actually read it in a 24 hour readathon with my friend. So that was just so amazing. Also part of my 24 hour readathon was the book, The Complete Book of Dragons, A Guide to Dragon Species by Cressida Cowell. I gave it four stars. It was just an interesting book to read and I enjoyed the pictures very much. I love the movie How to Train Your Dragon so I absolutely enjoyed reading that because it just brings me back to the movies. I didn't know which came out first, the books or the movies. I'm not actually sure. I'll have to check that out. Next book that I read is Night by Ellie Weasel and this is actually a memoir of the Holocaust because he is a Holocaust survivor and I was so emotional while I was reading it. I have thought of a lot of things and it made me think of how fortunate I am to still be alive and to be able to live in a safe community. This was such a great book and I gave it 5 stars and I would recommend everyone to read it. You guys have probably read it as a school requirement but I haven't and I'm late but you know, it's better to be late than never. The next book that I read that was also part of my 24 hour readathon is Bad Girls Throughout History by Anne Shin. So there are like 100 remarkable women who changed the world. I gave it three stars just because I was expecting the writing to be a bit formal, but the illustration is absolutely gorgeous. The next book that I read is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer and it took me a while to read that because I read Cinder last year and now it's 2018 and I just realized that I need to continue to the series. Cinder was okay. It wasn't that amazing, but it wasn't bad as well. So um, this is like my first time reading like a sci-fi YA, but it's actually very interesting and I finished Scarlet in two days. I was so excited to go to Crest to start reading Crest because I've heard that it was like one of the best books in the series. I'm not sure if it's Crest or Winter. Right now, I still haven't read Winter and I'm just so excited to read that. Okay, so after I read Scarlet in two days, I immediately went to Crest and I love that book. I love the characters that I met through that book. I just absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites now and I gave it five stars, of course. The dialogues are amazing and just the characters are also amazing. And after that, I read Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco and I gave it like a 3.5 or 3.8 stars. I love the book. I love the plot. I love everything except sometimes this character annoys me so much because he just overdoes something and I don't know if you can identify what that is to those of you who read it but there's one thing that he keeps doing that I really don't like and I was really put off with it. I said if I see him do it one more time or if he says something like one more time, I swear to God, I'm gonna like just hack off the stars that this book would have deserved. He did it again and again until the end and I actually love the suspense of the book but the ending was kind of anticlimactic. It just ended that way so I was kind of a bit disappointed about it but I'm still gonna read on the series because I love stalking Jack the Ripper so much and I was expecting a lot with this book. It did deliver except for those specific things that I just didn't like. After that, I finally finished Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which I've been reading for so long. That was such a huge book, but I have finished it and I can't wait to proceed to Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince. I'm just so excited to finally be able to finish the series because I haven't finished the book series yet. 
I've watched the movie series many times and now I'm on my way to finishing the book series which is so exciting. Obviously, it gets 5 stars for me. Next, I reread the Akatar book. Basically, the whole Akatar series because I want to refresh myself for Akafast. And I have heard mixed reviews about Akafast, so I'm not really looking forward to it or I'm not getting my hopes up that much. I just wanted the book. I still bought the hardcover because I, you know, collection. But I know that it isn't really that good, but we will see. So I'm just gonna stop at Akatar, and that's a total of 10. It's uh, 10 books, actually. I, I can't count. Behold my May TBR. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are a lot of books. Even though it's just like one, two, three, four, five, six physical books, it's still a lot. A lot of them are like huge. So let's move on to our May TBR. I have actually read one audiobook, which is 13 Minutes by Sarah Pinborough, and I gave it five stars. It was absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't read that yet, go do it. It's very, very underrated. I give it four stars because there are like some characters that are kind of annoying, but still, the overall plot is so, so good. It's actually mind-blowing. And I've already finished my reread of Akumath. This was a huge book, but I was able to push through and just gobble it all up. I have <laughs> found some things that I didn't even realize when I read it the first time. So this is gonna be a constant reread for me. It's absolutely one of my favorites. Um, Still, it's a five star, so yep. I'm currently reading Lucky in Love by Cassie West. Huh, I wanna finish it. I'm like two hours left and I think I might be able to finish it tonight, but oh boy, <laughs> I'm not really liking it that much. So I will finish it. I will not DNF because I'm still hoping that it'll be better. I'm not gonna expect that much, but I'm just gonna finish that. I will also read this audiobook called Love and Luck by Jenna Evans because I absolutely love Love and Gelato. So I can't wait for her second book, which is the point of view of the best friend of the main character in Love and Gelato. So I can't wait. I am so excited for that. Next book is This Memoirs of a Geisha because I saw Chapter Barbara saying that this is her most favorite book of all time and I can't wait because I really love her taste in books. If this is her most favorite, then I can't wait to read it. It's kind of huge and the font is like small. It's like 500 pages. Yeah, almost 500 pages, but it's cool. I'm excited to read it. Next book is Cersei by Madeline Miller. I wanted to read The Song of Achilles for so long, but I couldn't find it in my bookstore. And I actually wanted like the same size of this for Song of Achilles. I will still try to look for it and yeah, I just wanted to read this first, I guess. I don't think they are like a series, so I can read this separately and then I'll just read The Song of Achilles soon. I have heard a lot of good stuff about this author's writing. So I am excited and this cover is absolutely stunning. I love it and I can't wait to read it. I think this is just a fast read. Yes, I can't wait to dive into that. Next book that I'm gonna read for May is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because I'm so excited to finally end my book reading series of Harry Potter. Ah, I just love the writing so much. I love J.K. Rowling's writing. I love the characters and this series just makes me laugh a lot but I know I'm gonna cry in this book because I know what happens but still the books are absolutely better oh okay so I have my Aquar and I am in the middle in the middle like I'm still in the beginning of my reread so yeah I might read a few chapters here listen to a few chapters of probably finish that audiobook fucking love and then read a few chapters here hopefully tomorrow I can read more so yeah I have to speed up my reading for this month and after I read Aquar I'm gonna be reading Aquar Fast. And I know this has mixed reviews. People love it because the characters are back, I guess, but also it's kind of boring from what I've heard. Well, I've read non spoiler reviews, but I just feel like I'm not gonna like it as much as I did with Akomath. But still, it's not a fourth book, it's just a novella. So I'm not gonna expect too much. I know I'm gonna be disappointed though, because. This is a hard cover and the cover is gorgeous, but it's okay. I had to buy it in hard cover still because collection. Just want to see the updates that the characters have in this book. So let us try to attempt to stack my May TBR and just 
imagine that we're gonna add the two audiobooks that I have on my phone but here they are oh my god this is getting heavier these are huge books my dudes ah my arm <laughs> okay here we go here we go we have a good shot of this and yep I am so excited for my TBR these are good books I can already tell these are all amazing except probably for this one but yeah Hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what are the books that you want to read in May. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!